Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, gosh. He threw the hook. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not going to be one of those days. <laughs> okay, well, he was just inside the Kissimmee grass. I thought I had this uh, camera on uh, while I was really him in. I looked down, it wasn't on. I had to reach up, turn it on. So maybe that's part of the reason I lost him. Uh, oh well, let's try again. Good morning, everyone. My name's Jerry. I'm a twin troller boat owner and a lifelong fisherman. I haven't done a video of me fishing in a little while had family in town I've been doing lots of things and the weather's been just plain awful and when I'm fishing uh, I haven't caught much so I haven't bothered well I just got the urge to go this morning so come with me let's see what happens now overnight we had a lot of rain matter of fact at one point in about 35 minutes we got over an inch of rain uh, so the lake is up a little bit it may affect things we're on uh, well we're coming up to a full moon in like two three days it's the late moon for the year however the previous two moons which would have been the peak for spawning have been terrible weather around them so I'm hoping maybe this one uh, will turn out a little bit better but who knows Let's go see. <laughs> I don't know if he's blowing that. Oh, let's oh, swim right up behind it. Oh, come on. Oh, geez, here comes another one after it. All right, let's get reset. Throw it back out. It's only one thing. <laughs> I can hear the airboat. Started up already. And when they start, they usually come right where I am. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm almost thinking these are little fish, but geez, you never know. I'm gonna throw a uh, wacky worm, Senko. the sound of that. The airboat sounds like you might be either going to the dock to pick up people or coming out. I gotta get around this weed patch here. Just don't want to get the motor all plugged up already. 
have to clear off the weeds. that from here, I'm going to throw back the opposite angle and I can throw all over here. Hoping there's some fish on some beds here. This is a great location for it. However, the bad part is I'm on the south end of the lake. But it's late enough in the year that we're well, 68 degree temperature order. 69 on the front fish finder, but come on, fishies! I know you're back here. Come on, come on, take it again. How could you have missed that? All right, well, at least I know something's back here. swim bait. Um, I think it's a strike king, um, whatever they call it, shad something. overcast today. We've got a, a lot of diffused light here this morning. <laughs> Just I said that the sun pops out between the between the, the clouds. feel them, but I don't think I had them very well. And, <laughs> yeah, I did feel them. He had my tail. Alright. Let's change. we got to put on a new one. And, I do have some more of these with me. They are KVD Perfect Plastic Striking a Swimming Caffeine in shed color, or watermelon red, clear sparkle. All right. Holy moly, did you see that? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yes. There it is. It's got to be right here. He doesn't look very big, but I can't see what it is. If 
I saw some beds back here, I would just stay here and kind of see what I could get. Like in that, nothing. This is uh, what really the twin troller is all about. I am going through here. Um, there's no hydrilla underneath here or real soft weeds. And I'm going through here really quiet. If I came through here with a bass boat with a trolling motor that's way deep in the water. Well, there's something swimming around in front of me. Um, it would really make a mess chopping through all that. Hmm. Lots of things swirling around in here, so it doesn't look bad. Got him, got him, got him. All right. Hey, I actually got a fish to hold. <laughs> hey, it's not too bad. Camera on? Yep. Yep. All right. Got him hooked on the side of the mouth. He swallowed it pretty good. All right. Let's see how big he is. He's not real big. He's 14 and a half. And all right there. Now it's zeroed out without the thing dangling. Let's see what a whopping 1.4 pounds. Or one pound four ounces is what it says. All right. Jeepers. Now, Jerry, could you make any more noise? Okay. There he goes. At least we put one fish in the boat. Woohoo! <laughs> one. Another fish to actually touch with my hand. All right, same, and not very big. Not very big, let's see. 12 and a half. It's a whopper. He really went well. All right. Oh, there's number two. Oh, we're re rigged. And I try again. So there are some fish back here. They're just not very big. Now that one just sucked it down. Never even, I never even felt it. 
It just wasn't where I thought it should be. It was swimming over to the side. Put another one in. Well, I don't know what that was. I was reaching down, putting the uh, live scope in the water, and I was dangling the swim bait in the water right there in the Kissimmee grass. And something yanked the pole down. <sighs> Cut me clean off, 30 pound test. Just yanked the pole, the pole went <laughs> and yanked it off. I did a bit of gar, but I don't know. Um, well, let's retie. show you something see at the end of my rod laying on top of that that's a snake and I'm pretty sure if I get up a little closer it's a cat mouth that's a pretty good size one too can you see it right there it's a cottonmouth, all right. That's a poisonous snake. And in the month of April, when I was here with the airboats, you would see snakes like that all over laying on top of the grass. Now they'd also have uh, a mate with them and uh, they were mating. Um, that one, as far as I can see, is just one. Let me see if I can come up a little closer and see what it'll do. Just so you can see him. Well, I don't really want to get any closer. They can strike more than the length of their body. Oop, there he goes. He just slid in the water. All right, see you later, buddy. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, a spinner bait. Fishy. Oh, jeez. That's a dream big girl. But I have something just for you. Gotcha. There you stinker. 
Now, where are you hooked? Well, you hooked on my. I were hooked on my trailer hook. Let's see how long you are. Just about 19 and a quarter inches. I don't know. If, don't know if I got you, but I'm glad I keep this. Works great for gar and pickle. of you have asked me about how I like this reel. We talked about this reel in the past. It is a Runkel, R-U-N-C-L. This is the Follett 7 3 to 1. And um, I've been using it for quite a while now. I use it both in the boat and out of the boat. And it has held up really well. I'm very glad I got it. It's relatively inexpensive. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> hey. All right. In the boat. big is that? All right, let's look. It is about 14 and a quarter. What did I get it on? I got it on the wacky rigged Sanko. Matter of fact, it cut my Sanko in half. That's all right, I got more. All right, let me show you just how I rig this. And now I have a bobber stop on here. It has nothing to do with the fact that I I just had it on from something I previously tied on, so I don't want to keep it off. And it does just fine there. And I use a circle hook. I believe this is a two aught. It might even be a one aught. I like that size hook. I put it through the uh, through the O-ring like that. I try to get the O-ring to be balanced in the center, um, and I like this because a regular a J hook or even some of the other ones that are not a full circle hook, the tip is pointed straight down. So as you're kind of pulling this, it's catching everything in the world. This kind of ref, uh, deflects off things a little. I just found it to work better. <clears throat> yeah, I also want to change something on this. I want the yellow belly to be down. Um, in nature, that's exactly the way how uh, everything is. Their, the bellies are lighter color. The top is a darker color, so I want it to look natural. And why am I using that color? Well, the the top part of it is a um, watermelon type color, which is literally the number one color here in, for a lot of baits in Florida. Um, if you're doing a worm or something that's falling all the time, then black or blue or black and blue is uh, is good, but my flukes, 
um, a lot of worms I do use a lot of plastics that I use are are the uh, watermelon colored now I'm only in uh, 2.7 feet of water or so but there's a bunch of weeds underneath me so I try to throw this out let it sink a little see if anything picks it up and then I'm twitching it I'm not really pulling it I'm twitching it that makes the the uh, Senko fold in half and go like this makes it come alive see that see it I'll do it up here when I just do little twitches this goes from like this to like this and then it uh, naturally comes back by itself another stinking pickerel. swallowed that baby didn't you say so, ah yeah. all right got part of it out all right broke my leader thrashing in the boat <laughs> and you got me all wet you're welcome have been in a frying pan you know well that last pickerel broke my leader my leader i always have less than the strength of my uh main line my main line is a 30 pound uh, braid but let me show you something i use it's a sharpie a magnum i took a uh a razor blade kind of made a little notch in the middle It kind of catches the line so I can color the line all the way down and I try to spin it to get the other side but it seems to get the whole line anyway now why am I doing that well I'm doing that because I want to tie directly to my uh, my spinner bait. That's two pickerel that grab this. Sometimes they uh, they grab it farther up and cut the line. I lose the whole thing. So let me retie. So I'm tying a polymer knot. I have to make a big loop get my trailer hook and the regular and the blades everything through there once I get it through then I can pull it down and you can see the black on my fingers from the line it's almost dry but not a hundred percent and that coloring will wear off on the line over time and then I just repaint, re, uh, repaint it, and off I go. Now, 
Now, hopefully, I won't have anything bite me off. Uh, but let's go. I like to throw spinner bait along this outside Kissimmee grass edge, and that's what I'm going to do. rained on. Well, you may be wondering, how did we get here? We were just fishing. Well, you saw me put away the cameras and even though it wasn't even supposed to rain at all for another two hours and heavy rain, not for three hours, somehow it really poured. So I had to keep my cameras covered up. I kind of got a little wet. I tried actually going in shallower to where I was earlier in the morning. And when I got there, I decided to look at the radar and see when I turned on my phone, it gave me all kinds of warnings saying in my county it was severe thunderstorm uh, warnings and I could see more coming at me. So I decided to bail and more adventure, even though I should have taken a picture. When I got to the parking lot, a lot of people, you could hear the airboats running all day. Those airboat people parked in front of me, parked behind me, and parked right on side of each side. I couldn't get my tow vehicle and the trailer out. I had to go into the store. They had to locate those people. They finally found the guy behind me and he moved his vehicle. And he told me when I parked there, he said, there was nobody in front of you. That's why I parked behind you and some other Wonderful tourist parked in front of me and that's what happened. So I finally got the boat out before the big rain came. When I was actually pulling up to the house, more rain started to come. By the time I got it put away, it really started to pour. And the rest of the night, it's supposed to be like this too. So I hope you had some fun just fishing with me. I did okay, I didn't catch anything big, but maybe next time. So thanks for watching. Bye now, see you next time.